Hello everyone. Today I want to explore our built heritage, what it is, why it matters in a crisis and how disaster has shaped it. Our built heritage is the cumulative memory of humankind. It is the tangible and intangible surroundings from which we derive our identity, anchoring us to place. Our connection to heritage is often an emotional one. The positive emotions that we connect to these places can have a huge impact on our well-being, whilst negative perceptions can be just as visceral. Historic mills, for example, conjure images of industrial decline, whilst medieval churches are often the heart of a community, even if just as a backdrop to our everyday lives. Our heritage is also functional and a vital economic component of our lives. It boosts tourism and offers a sustainable route to development through reuse and repair. The current crisis has shown that now, more than ever, our heritage matters and that it continues to contribute to our sense of place and identity. Crisis can risk destroying or damaging the identity that we gain from our heritage and can loosen the connections that we have created through our collective memory. Disaster also has practical implications, the loss of financial resources to maintain highly graded buildings in ruins, the educational implications of closed sites, repair works that have stopped mid construction and the vital ongoing maintenance that cannot now be funded or carried out. The current pandemic has shrunk our world down to an hour of essential exercise around our neighbourhood, but it has also galvanised us to think globally. We care about the restoration of Notre Dame and the dramatic drop in tourists to places like Venice, whilst also noticing for the first time the textures and fabrics and materials of the streets that we live on. Historically, the threat of losing our heritage has been a catalyst for change, and many of the layers of history that we value today were born out of crisis. Equally, disaster has forced change upon us, consciously and unconsciously changing the way our cities are built. From fire regulations replacing timber framed building with brick to epidemics requiring the clearance of Victorian slums. Crisis can also lead to inertia, with much of our unique heritage surviving only because we have locked a door and walked away. Returning years or decades later to realise that there is value in what we have forgotten. Either way, change is important. Our built heritage is not static. It represents layers of human habitation, changing fashions and need, and the accumulation of centuries of activity and human behaviour. During the current pandemic, a functioning planning system remains vital to ensuring our heritage is protected and that projects continue to move forward. By seeking to maintain growth now, we will be doing our bit to maximise economic and cultural recovery when it becomes possible. In the current climate, it is cheering to see the construction sector adapting their working practices to keep clients' projects running when faced with challenges such as social distancing. Architectural practices like Purcell continue to work with our clients, often using creative solutions to communication and seizing opportunities to conserve places for the people that value them. Things might be done differently after this, and we must be prepared to adapt, but the importance of our cultural heritage must not be forgotten as we seek new ways to make sense of our heritage within the current crisis.